Go back to Chopper 6 HD and look live at this airport still here on the runway. You can see that foam trailing behind uh, the, the area where that damaged engine is. We've learned now that there were 143 passengers on board along with five crew members. So 148 people in total on board this Boeing 737, which uh, departed from New York's LaGuardia Airport this morning, was headed to Dallas's Love Field, but was diverted to Philadelphia International Airport. Um, we have a phone interview now. Ray, if you can tell me who this is with, please. Passenger. Matt Tranchin, we're apparently a passenger. Matt Tranchin, he's apparently joining us on the phone. Matt, are you there? I am. All I'm right. Thank you for checking in with us. Uh, first of all, how are you doing right now? Shaken up, I... but alive. So relatively pretty fantastic. Okay. Well, that's good news. I can, ima I can imagine how scary it must be. We're going to chat with you while we're looking at some of the pictures that either you or some of the other passengers took from their phones. Uh, tell us exactly what happened. You're on the flight on your way to Dallas, Texas. When did you realize something was terribly wrong, Matt? Um, right around the time there was a huge explosion and glass shattering three rows uh, ahead of me. Uh, that was about the moment when I realized that this was not going to be a normal flight. And Matt, did they did the airbags come down? Did all those things they prepare you for happen? Yeah, yeah, they did. Um, airbags came down. Uh, there was obviously a lot of confusion. The plane dipped um, considerably um, right afterwards. Uh, there was, you know, first confusion and then panic. Um, I was three rows behind where the uh, apparently what it looks like had happened is the engine exploded and a shard from the engine shattered uh, the glass uh, over the exit row, uh, row 14, and uh, that uh, uh, injured one of the passengers um, considerably. Yeah. Uh, flight attendants rushed up. Um, there was you know, momentary chaos. Um, everyone, you know, kind of descended on where this uh, this hole was. As passengers, we weren't sure if they were trying to cover up the hole, um, but the plane smelled like smoke. There was ash coming through the ventilation system, and, um, uh, you know, we started dropping. Uh, scary moments, to be sure, Matt. Uh, you mentioned the, the injuries, and we're trying to determine just how many people were injured. So the, the person that you saw injured, were, were they sitting in your row, or were they sitting close to you, behind you? Um, how close? No, they were... Yeah, I, I was in row 17. They uh, were in row 14. I believe they were sitting in uh, seat 14A right by the window. Uh, only one person uh, was injured uh, on the flight, okay. and that person was, was taken out uh, of the plane as soon Matt, as we landed. what were the, the flight crew, what were they instructing you to do, and what happened once the airplane was on the tarmac? Well, um, you know, I, given the circumstances, uh, they were great um, as kind of an indication of how terrifying it was. Um, you know, some of the crew uh, couldn't hold back uh, their horror, um, and some were crying um, uh, as they looked out um, through the open window um, onto uh, the engine. Um, we actually uh, uh, received Internet access um, and texting capability um, uh, a couple minutes after it happened. And so, uh, you know, I, I know I was with a colleague of mine. Um, we spent the next 15 minutes before landing um, saying our goodbyes. You know, you never, you don't want to scare your friends and family, but you also don't want to not say goodbye. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from? Do you have children? Uh, from Dallas, Texas. Uh, I'm married and um, we have our first a uh, child um, that's going to be born in about six weeks. My wife's almost eight months pregnant. Can you tell us what was going through your head and your heart at this moment? That I never lived to see my son born. That I'd never be able to say goodbye to my wife, say goodbye to my parents. Um, but uh, I am, you know, uh, I am. And, uh, and I feel really fortunate for that. You know, you always see these things on the news and everything that's going to happen to you. And uh, all you can do now is reassess, reprioritize, and live life to the fullest. I plan to do that. Absolutely. So 
Were you heading home to Dallas when this happened, Matt? I was. I was. And you obviously have talked to your family, and they know that you're safe and everything's okay? They do. Well, that's great. That's great news. Can you tell us about this photo that you took from your phone? Was it taken while you were sitting, obviously, on the tarmac? Because these pictures are, are, are obviously incredible, especially the one How of that like engine. Um, when did you take the, the, this picture? Was it just for, by just looking out your window? Uh, I took those, uh, those pictures as I was deplaning. Um, which, by the way, is a verb I don't think anyone ever wants to use in the first person. But um, those were taken as we were all being ushered off the plane. That's amazing. Well, Matt, we're so glad that you're okay, that you're going to go, go home now, kiss your wife, and congratulations uh, in advance on the birth of, of your baby in just a few weeks. Yeah, it's, I'm sure yeah, it's not the... Yeah, thanks so much. If, if anyone wants to start a, a GoFundMe to get Ubers and Lyfts <laughs> to uh, take us back to Dallas, that would be amazing. <laughs> well, I'm sure you were planning on visiting in Philadelphia. We're glad you're here and um, make the mo most of your stay. But more importantly, we're glad you're safe. Thank you statement. for checking in by phone. Matt Tranchin, who was on his way to Dallas, Texas, when this emergency landing took place here at Philadelphia International Airport.